This is a video I needed a little bit more time to actually record and release because I wanted to test out Broly a little bit more. He doesn't have access to the same team building options, if we can call it that, that the physical Gogeta has access to. So, because of those constraints, I wanted to run some of these teams and see which ones I think Broly performed the best in. And I'm going to show you those teams with the exception of one. I'm going to show you all of those teams here in this video. I'll also mention this really quick. If you want to stay up to date with part two, be Skohan and any other anniversary content, make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 63k. Only you can make that possible. Let's hop straight into the video. So this is the first team I want to talk about here. Now, Broly, Chilai, and Lemo are getting their EZA now in part one. Um, but I still tried out this team regardless. And the way you want to run this would be, of course, uh, Broly. Well, you would have Zamasu um, as well as this uh, AGL Zamasu linked up together as one rotation. You would have Kid Buu and this Frieza as your floaters because they are super this guy's a super boss of support and we already know how great of a support um you know our uh what's it called physical kid boo is i don't know why i blinked on his name for a second and then see when it comes to the other rotation you have to get a little creative what i tried to do and what worked really well is to get this broly here on rotation with the friend broly and since they share seven out of seven links, that ended up working really, really, really well, to be honest. Um, but if you don't do that, then something else you can do is this Broly kind of, sort of linked alongside Broly and Zamasu. The only issue is that they really only share Fierce Battle and Legendary Power. So it is not a great link set whatsoever. Um, but again, it's like... When this character gets an easy A, you really, really, really want to put him on the team. And then, unfortunately, when it comes to Broly himself, Broly doesn't have access to the greatest linking partners. Like, the, the best, some of the best linking partners for Broly are, like, some of the other Broly's in the game. For example, if I were to uh, pull, let's say I take Broly um, off the team. And let's say I go to super bosses, for example. This is the issue I was running. You could run this Broly, except they share the same exact name. So while, yes, you can put them on the same team, you are not going to get much um, much out of that rotation, right? You also have access to this Broly. I think they share, what, five out of... Um, yeah, I think they share everything with the exception of... I would say, is it? Is he? Does this Broly have prodigies? Uh, Berserker, okay, he does, perfect. So yeah, they share five out of seven links. And this Broly, you know, he's cool, but he's really just not all that. If you had to ask me, I would rather sacrifice the links with STR Broly and just bring this character and try my best to get the orbs in order to support the Broly here, plus have the chance to dodge with this Broly as well. I just found that to be more valuable, even though the links were not great. So again, that's another option for you there. You can also run this Wrathful Broly, but he's just not it in today's meta. Uh, he, ha he doesn't really offer anything. Again, I, I just prefer Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. And then the rest of, of Broly's options in terms of like really good linking partners aren't on the Super Bosses team, unfortunately. So um, that's why I went with this build here. Another option you can run when it comes to the Super Bosses team is this here. Um, actually, no, not sorry, not super bosses. This is the transformation boost uh, part of Broly's leader skill, and this actually worked really well. I tried a different unit here, but this is meant to be for those of you that summoned on Golden Week and have the Int Fat Boo. Int Fat, Int Fat Boo, alongside this character, they do share seven out of seven links, so it's going to be a very strong rotation for you. Then your Broly can be linked alongside Gogeta. They do share four out of seven links. When Gogeta transforms into blue, he only has one link, a Golden Warrior, that changes into um, something, a Warrior Gods. And Broly doesn't really have, Broly doesn't have the link um, Golden Warrior, so when either of them transform they're still going to be sharing four out of seven links one of those being um prepare for battle so that is extra key that they're sharing and then your floaters or support 
could be physical kid boo and then garlic jr which is an extreme class support so i tried running this team with a different boo unit instead so instead of someone like the exchange boo or sorry instead of into fat boo since i don't have them i tried running the um what's his face the physical lr buhan that worked out pretty well to be honest it was pretty fun once you get the rotations running it is a pretty fun team it's just that sometimes you don't really have the luxury of trying to set up your rotations right but um when you hop into the fight and you have broly and gojito on the same rotation both of the b units on another rotation then you're you know you're constant floaters the team is actually fairly cohesive more than i would have ever guessed and because these characters just get extra key per key sphere obtained it makes getting the super attacks extremely easy and it's really fun running these two characters right alongside each other another option for transformation boost is this team the coolers go absolutely nuts on this team again double s tier rotation is a little bit scary um you know simply because if you're facing an agl enemy um you know it's not gonna go it's not gonna go the greatest especially if it's a red zone agl enemy um but you know it's they still worked incredibly well and this was definitely a very fun team um that i was actually able to put together and to run again you want to have extreme class supporters and floaters so that's why i kept garlic jr on the team as well as the kid boo you could technically run the into frieza i had here but he's a super boss's support and this entire team with the exception of kid boo is a super boss's team but it doesn't matter because these two unlike unless you have a really bad rotation or something these two are not going to be on the same rotation ever so it doesn't really matter at that point right every character is getting supported when these two are in the third slot you know exchanging the third slot whatever you want to call it but this team again was pretty fun broly was hitting very high numbers especially when kid boo was on the was in the third slot but again it's it's a little tough to build but when it comes to transformation boost you do have a lot of pretty cool options so if i go and do transformation boost here you could also try to run the full power Ooh, full power actually i just realized something but anyways transformation boost as you can see let's say i just take away gogeta for a second you have access to some pretty cool characters someone i wanted to mention um is this character right here golden frieza a pretty good slot three option if you wanted someone else uh broly actually does link pretty well with super saiyan 4 goku i believe it's what four or five links that they actually share um it's just i, I found the team or the rotation just to be a little weird but look five links is better than four links it's just i prefer four links running gogeta then five links running super saiyan 4 goku because gogeta just better than super saiyan 4 goku so that's something i also wanted to mention but again i had preferred this rotation than this rotation even though they do share one more link amongst the two and uh, again you can really run whatever characters you want here it's just transformation boost does have an access to some pretty strong characters it's just when i was trying to test this team I found that this was one of the more enjoyable teams alongside this one, but Int Boo, Int Fat Boo would would work a lot better here because I don't have them. Um, since they share seven out of seven links with Exchange Boo, they would work a lot better uh, compared to the physical L or Buhan that I ended up running. So those are some options there, and then we have the uh, Pure Saiyans team. I didn't really look much into Broly's full power team. Um, let me go ahead and just show you what full power looks like. I definitely could have. I just didn't even bother with it full power definitely has a really strong roster but my issue with the full power team is that a lot of the characters on this category you want to run with other characters on this category so for example if i was running someone like this gohan i'd want this gohan linked alongside i don't know carnival goku or namek goku right because they share seven out of the seven links and it's just you make them worse trying to force them on a team like this so i wasn't really you know up for doing that so instead i just focused on uh transformation boost as well as uh full power but broly does have access to the super sans category and uh sorry i didn't do super sans i meant just yeah pure sans i actually did have pure sans okay 
So one thing I really did like about this category is, I mean, where's uh, where's Kid Goku at? I meant to keep him on the team. I wanted to take him up just to give you a quick glimpse. Here he is. So uh, God Goku here does actually offer Broly the 200% because Broly, of course, is a pure Saiyan. And Broly also has access to the 30% exploding rage buff. So Broly on this team led by God Goku is getting 200%. And then what you could do is run the friend God Goku with the blue boys right here. And then have these three characters floating off. A rainbow orb changer is very strong. Goku giving damage reduction support, especially for Broly, is pretty strong. And then we have, is this super class allies or all allies? Oh no, it's super class allies. So yeah, I actually completely forgot he's super class allies instead of ball. But, but yeah, so you would probably take off uh, this Carnival Goku and run someone else on this team. For a second, I don't know why I thought he was all allies. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you could still keep him on because you'd be literally buffing every other character except for Broly on this team, right? Um, but again, when it comes to pure Saiyans, your options are almost almost infinite you can also say f it i'm gonna go ahead and run uh the z duo and the gt duo this is a very strong team both of these eighth anniversary lrs are on power of wishes and again goku is also leading that with his 30 percent so boom you have access to yet to two more 200 percent buffs by that i mean two more characters who are under that 200 percent lead right uh, so that will definitely work. Where did I put the... There you go. Um, you can also run AGL UI Goku when he gets his EZA alongside STR UI with his EZA if you really wanted to. Uh, again, look, there's literally so many options you can run here, right? But again, when I tried out this team, um, I did actually try out this rotation with the Carnival Goku. Where is Carnival Goku? I'm a little blind. Where is Carnival Goku? I did actually try out this specific team, and again, it was a, you know, a fairly fun team. Um, again, your issue, God Goku and, and Broly, they don't, uh, I think they what, share four out of seven links, something like that, so it's not a bad rotation at all. Um, it definitely does work, and it is a fun team. The reason why I just prefer uh, the other rotation I had, if I can go back up to uh, Pure Saiyans here is that because I'm bringing a friend god Goku, I'd rather have the friend god Goku be linked up with another unit, which is why I brought the blue boys. And I mean, I feel like the value that they also bring um, with, you know, whether you like them or not, is actually pretty good too. And then again, you can run any other support, any other third slot character in here uh, and, and get the team rolling that way. You can also run God Goku if you're facing a movie boss as a pure Saiyan's enemy. He's just basically untouchable in slot three. So he could be a decent option there. But yeah, again, team building options for this character are not the greatest whatsoever. Um, one thing I'll mention right now is that in a few days... When this character gets an easy A, it's going to he's he's going to be a must run on the team. So you might want to consider it like a super bosses build similar to this. Um, if you don't have in Golden Freeze, I'd recommend switching him with the Int Garlic Jr. because Garlic Jr. is of course on the transformation boost part of Broly's 170 lead. Um, so he may not be getting the full 200% there, but he's still part of the lead and he's going to be literally buffing all extreme class allies so everyone here on the team will still be getting buffed let me know what you think these are the teams that i found to be good if i for, if i'm forgetting a team or not you know paying respect to a specific character let me know in the comments and um i mean yeah look broly was a little bit more difficult to build around but i managed to build a few teams here that i thought were pretty fun and made Broly look really good so again if I forget anything please let me know hopefully you enjoyed I'll see you in the next one Merry Christmas and good night